Hey, my name is Adora Spitak and I'm here at Idea City in Toronto with Tavi Gevinson, who is on the website described as a fashion wonder kind. So what exactly is it that you do? Uh, I have a fashion blog that I write called Style Rookie and every once in a while I am lucky enough to like write or style or whatever for a magazine. So how do you think your age has impacted so people reading, do they think, oh wow, this is amazing to hear she's 14, or how do you think that the response has been because of your age? Um, I mean, you know, there's good and bad. Some people are, you know, think it's great that at 14 I, you know, have access to the, these resources and can do things like this event, and then some think that it will result in, like, me going to rehab and like having 20 babies so um which is maybe something that you deal with as well but um i definitely think i mean some people say like oh well it's only because she's 14 that she gets to do this stuff but i wouldn't be the same person if i wasn't 14. i think that there's still kind of a like child perspective the way that I mean in there they talked about how like kids have like this wonder and stuff and curiosity and you know I think it's good to maybe have a perspective um, on a fashion show that comes from a critic who spent many years in the industry and then maybe also hear from someone who you know doesn't really have that experience but comes at it from a different angle, so. So you think that your age gives you that kind of point of view that maybe someone who's been around for a long time doesn't have? Yeah, but, it, I mean, it does that, but I don't think about it as, like, really defining of anything I do, <laughs> other than what grade I'm in in school, so, yeah. Yeah, that's a really interesting thing because talking to people, especially um, if you start out young, how they think age uh, affects what they do, it's always interesting to see. Yeah. So at Idea City, is there anything that you really want your speech to get across to the audience? Um, well, I think what I want the speech to get across to the audience is kind of what I want my potential magazine, if I can start it, to which I'll be talking about, to get across to people, which is that, you know, you have to listen to teenagers and girls and teenage girls because we're not stupid, <laughs> like, we don't just like vapid things and text all the time, and um, even those that do are not idiots, like, I guess that's the main thing, but, um, yeah. Teenage girls aren't just, OMG, like, that is so LOL, you're yeah. really transcending that. <laughs> well, yeah, but even, like, the people that are, because I'm like that sometimes, like, who am I kidding? Um, so... Even those that are, like, there's still something to listen to there. There are still um, ideas and voices to be heard there. So, And uh, what, are, what are some of the things you've learned at Idea City from listening to the speakers? Oh, my God. It's so much to absorb. I couldn't tell you all right now. One or two things. Well, that a Hubble telescope captures things with, like, like a grain of sand at a time or something like that and um or it can like get every yeah and that um the average though you and i talked about how statistics are weird the average 17 year old boy writes like has the writing skills of a 13 year old girl but yeah that's a shaky statistic but it could be true so yeah, quite a variety of things. And let's let me guess who you're absorbing this from. I think Edna Devore and Lionel Tiger. Is that right? Somewhere. I I think it somewhere was somewhere along there. Who, yeah. Yeah. So around then, yeah, and definitely uh, there's a lot to learn. Um, and then one last question: How do you think your knowledge about fashion and style and design impacts the way that you look at the world? Well, um, well, I think that. I think that it sort of changed my eye. Like, part of it is that just now when I watch a movie, I, like, see the colors differently. I don't know, like, I don't know. Like, the composition of photographs looks different to me. I'm 
more um, impacted by those kinds of details now. But I think that as far as the world and like life situation go, life situations go, like I, I mean, maybe that's something I'll be able to reflect upon and know in the future. But um, I feel like there are so many. I guess I don't know. See, the thing is that my like philosophy on style and fashion is always changing so I'm not really and it's not a conscious thing if I relate it to something in real life but maybe in the future I'll be able to like remember and reflect and figure out how that corresponded so yeah because um, when I think about it sometimes my philosophy of writing or reading I think that that kind of changes the way I look at the world, so yeah. it's interesting to see your perspective on that. And I actually, I am bad at saying finally so-and-so, and then I come up with another final question. Yeah, so, my life. Yes. one more final question. Yeah. Uh, and this is something, since you are 14, I think that there's probably a lot you could tell. What is something you would say to other girls your age who are hoping to accomplish a lot? What would you tell them? Um... Have fun. I don't. I mean, maybe I, some tips. I guess. Well, I guess a lot of people want to know the kind of like key to having a successful fashion blog, but my fashion blog is only successful when I'm having fun with it. Like otherwise, it could have a lot of hits, but I'm not. If I'm not enjoying writing it that day, then it doesn't make a difference. Um, I think. The main thing is just to have fun, write about what you care about, because if you, you know, try to emulate a popular fashion blogger, well, people already have that fashion blogger to read about the same stuff. It's, you don't have to try to be unique and try to come up with something new. You just have to let it come to you. But you do have to, I guess, like, go with your gut. You don't have to change your opinion because other people may not agree, because someone will always disagree. And just, if it feels like a job, and if it feels like you are not agreeing with what you're writing, then just, you know, make sure that you're having fun. Yeah, so that's a wonderful tip for all of you out there trying to be an amazing kid like Tavi. From a very wise person, of course. Yeah, from a very wise person. You know, you're being successful if you're having fun, if you're doing what you love, and don't necessarily, you don't really have to follow what people who disagree with you no, are saying. Most, yeah, no, that's it. Yeah. So listen to yourself and do what you love and have fun. Great advice. Thanks so much. Again, from Idea City. <laughs> Again, from Idea City, this is Adora's Sweet Talk. Thanks for watching.